This episode of Kaiju VFX is specially requested by Patreon supporter Jaws Infinity. If you would like your video request to be made right away as well, consider supporting us on Patreon. Links in the description. Welcome back everyone to another episode of Kaiju VFX. The series where we take a close look at how to recreate some of your favorite tokusatsu special effects inside of After Effects. Today, as per the request of Patreon supporter Jaws Infinity, we are going to recreate Hose Acidic Tears. Now, if you've been following the channel for a while, you should know that uh, this is not an unfamiliar effect to me. I created Hose Acidic Tears in Episode 3 of Zone Fighter Season 2, and in those instances, I actually used a third-party paid plugin, Trap Code Particular, to achieve that effect. But for this tutorial, just because I generally try to avoid using paid third-party plugins if I can, we are going to be recreating Hose of Tears inside of After Effects built-in particle system. So I have our scene set up here, have lights for the 3D buildings in Element 3D, color grade layer, all that good stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and just disable all of this stuff that we don't need. All the buildings, the color grade, the fog, all of that. So we just have Ho. And a lot of this tutorial is going to take a couple of cues from the Eye Glow tutorial that I did two weeks ago. So I would definitely recommend that you check that out if you have not already, because I will be skipping over a couple of aspects of that tutorial that were already covered there. For instance, um, I have already created null objects that are tracked to each of Ho's eyes. And uh, what these are going to help us do is they're going to track where the tears are going to come from in the particle systems. And speaking of which, let's go ahead and start on that. So we're going to hit Control y and make a new solid, and we'll call this Left Tear Pool. So we're going to make the pool of tears in Ho's eye, not the ones that drip down quite yet, but just like a pool of tears, you know, like you see on the bottom of someone's eyes, they're about to cry. Um, on Ho's eye, um, we'll do the left one, our left one, first, just uh, to do that. So we'll drag that down on top of everything Ho related here, and we will add a CC particle world effect. So the first thing that we're going to do for this pool of tears is we're going to disable all the physics. So no velocity, no gravity, and so now we just have this ball of non-moving particles. So what we're going to do is we're going to shorten the longevity of these particles because otherwise they're just going to build up more and more over time and it's going to look a bit obnoxious. So we'll go with something like 0.2. We'll probably change this a bit later, but for now that should work. So now we're going to play with the radius size of this particle emitter. So we'll scrunch it down pretty low and then we'll also squish the X down. And we will drag the emitter onto Ho's eye. We can play around a bit more with the size of that emitter. So I'm going to go into the particle settings here and we're going to change the particle type from line to faded sphere. And uh, we're going to decrease the birth and death size of these. Um, death size will make zero, but the birth size will bring up a fair bit. We'll solo this and just change the resolution to full so we can see as clear as we can what we're working with. Um, and we'll maybe bump up the birth rate a bit maybe bring down the birth size because we want a lot of tears but we don't want them to be obnoxiously huge that looks good and so we will make the color of the birth a dark blue and death will make a darker blue and uh, I'm just gonna change the transfer mode to add so now you see we've got this sort of like glittering pool of particles it looks like and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a vector blur effect and we're gonna bump it up a little bit but we're not gonna keep it on the natural type we're gonna keep it on perpendicular and we'll uh, play with the amount a little bit uh, maybe play with the offset just a tad until we find something that seems a little bit like a pool um, and maybe we will increase the longevity of these particles and decrease the birth rate just so they're around a little bit longer something like this so on the layer, I'm going to set the transfer mode of this to screen, and uh, maybe we'll increase the X radius of this particle emitter just a little bit, and we'll increase the birth rate a little bit as well. Okay, so I think for our purposes that tier pool is looking all right. So what I'm going to do, because these particles aren't like leaving the screen at all anywhere, um, I'm just going to go ahead and parent this layer to the left eye null, and so now if we uh, track around the scene here so yeah, you'll see that the tear pool now follows Ho's eye to a T 
And uh, what we'll go ahead and do real quick is we'll take that left tier pool and duplicate it. And we'll just rename it to right tier pool. And uh, we will move the emitter to the other eye. Play around with the size of it just so it matches up. And then parent it to the right eye null. So now we've got these two tier pulls following Ho's eyes. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to make the actual tiers that come from Ho's eyes. So I'm going to duplicate the right tier pool and we'll just call these right tier fall. And uh, what we can do is we can just add a bit of gravity. And uh, what we'll maybe do, because um, what we're getting here is we're getting a very fast tier fall, but obviously Ho is a giant monster and uh, the water probably wouldn't look like it's falling that quickly. So what we will do is we will increase the longevity of these particles, decrease the birth rate, um, bring that gravity back down. Now we're getting somewhere. Let's go into the particle settings and up the birth size and uh, up the death size as well because we don't want these particles to disappear before they've hit the ground. Maybe we'll decrease the birth rate a little bit more. Maybe we'll go 0 0.05. Increase the birth size to maybe 0 0.2. Um, so we'll play around with the blur a bit. We'll add a bit more perpendicular blur. We'll duplicate that blur and add some normal natural vector blur. Um, and then I'm going to put a glow effect on these just so they look a little bit more minus energy-esque, I guess you could say, um, and stand out a little bit more. So yeah, so those vector blurs kind of give them a watery look as they fall. Like a, a little bit of a liquidy sort of thing and it's not perfect obviously but I think that for our purposes it works decently well and so again we can duplicate that and we'll call this left tier fall and uh, move it over to the left eye again and parent it to the left eye null and uh, we'll go into extras and give it a random seed so that the tiers aren't completely matching up Okay, so if we unsolo these layers, you can see that the tears are now falling down Ho's face. Um, I might go back into the um, falling tears actually, and change up the death color to be still a brighter blue, um, and increase the death size just a little bit perhaps. Maybe not that bright of a blue, something like that. So the last step that I'm going to take for this tier effect is that I'm going to actually uh, go into the tier falls and make them look a little bit more liquidy, so to say. Um, just because obviously right now you can kind of tell they're just sphere particles. Um, so I'm going to duplicate the glow, spread it out a bit, add a vector blur, set it to perpendicular, bump it up quite a bit. We'll go up to 73 or so. Duplicate that again, set it to direction center, turn down the amount, just have it a, a little bit, maybe like 25 or so. And uh, we'll just solo this so that we can see it um, in a lot more real time. And uh, we're going to change the direction, the angle offset of this, and we'll make it so that it has the tiers looking more vertical when they fall like that. And uh, if you prefer, you can also disable that vector blur we did before. Um, that might be more your your style if you want these to look a little bit more um, solid. Or you can do direction fading with these effects and change the direction to be pointing straight up. Honestly, a couple of different ways that you can go about this however you want to do. I'm pretty happy with how this looks actually. And uh, so, real quick, I'm going to add a VC color vibrance effect, make it dark blue, add some more glows, 
real piling on the effects with these tiers. And it might not be totally necessary, but it's just how I like to do things with this effect. There we go. So uh, what I'm going to do real quick is I'm actually just going to collapse all of these effects that we've done for the tier. Um, and just copy all these, go to the right falling tier, and just uh, delete all that we had before and paste them. And so, yeah, that finishes off the uh, tier effect for Ho. Again, there are multiple ways that you can go about doing this, including using third-party plugins like Trapcode Particular, which is what I did for Episode 3 of Zone Fighter Season 2. But, hey, we did this totally inside of After Effects with no paid third-party plugins, which I would consider to be a success. So I hope you enjoyed this quick Kaiju VFX tutorial, and if you have certain effects that you want to see done, you can sound off in the comments down below. Um, I am working on getting to as many as I can in bulk and uh, getting all those scheduled to upload in the coming weeks. Or if you want your request to be bumped up to the top of my priority list, uh, you can consider supporting that tier on Patreon. Again, link is in the description. So that's it. I will see you guys here next time with whatever it is that I have to offer. I would like to give a special thank you to Patreon supporters GWRZilla, Justice, Liquid Pestar, Jimmy Moore, Jeff King, Johnny Sacco, Jaws Infinity, and a very special thank you to Ultriab. If you would like to learn how you can get your name listed at the end of each of my videos as well, in addition to some other awesome rewards, then be sure to visit patreon.com slash daikaiju legends.